a friend from the Yakima Valley where I used to live and raise my three boys. So let me answer, let me answer with a real world answer from the Yakima Valley. I spoke to the principal of Toppenish High School a few days ago. He was just honored as the number one principal in America, Toppenish High School. And guess what he has achieved? He has achieved a graduation rate of 90% of the students at Toppenish High School. And he told me he's got these brilliant young people who want to continue their education at the UW and Central and WSU. We have invested in their education. They want to go out and become doctors and lawyers and small business people. It does not make sense to allow these people to come out of top of this as great students and then take away their driver's license and tell them they can't drive to the University of Washington, does it? That does not make sense. So I do not support changing this proposal. I think we should continue in our effort to make sure that people reside in the state of Washington to fact get their driver's license. And we have made improvements to prevent fraud in that regard. Now, I have listened to my opponent for quite some time here, blaming all the ills in Western civilization on the Democratic Party. And I think it's appropriate to mention a couple things about that. We have not passed comprehensive immigration reform, not because of Barack Obama's failure, but because it has been blocked time after time by the Republican Party of the United States Congress. Let's keep a simple fact. When the Republican Party took control of the state Senate this year, you know the first thing they did? They cut $74 million out of the educational budget. That's something I'm against. We've got to understand we've got to move forward on a bipartisan way to help our young people succeed, and I intend to do just that.